Hello guys and welcome. Uh, this is just a quick video on how the IQ software is kind of lagging my computer and my games a little bit. Uh, so part of what we're doing here is uh, we're going to show you this in League. This is a game that it's most noticeable on for me. I noticed I notice a lot of frame hiccups and uh, like frame dips in uh, Overwatch and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 um, where <clears throat> you know I'm running like 144 frames or whatever. Uh, and then it'd dip to like 60 or 80 and then it'd go back up. And, you know, when you're, when you experience those big frame dips, it's, it's very noticeable. And, you know, I know you're like, oh, boohoo, still 80 frames a second or whatever, but it's very noticeable when you're playing at a very high refresh rate, a very low MS response rate, and you get those dips. It's, it's almost, it, it literally becomes unplayable. So anyway, this is, um, you know, this is the rig we're running, 9900K, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, we are running the latest driver. Check for updates. This is the latest uh, driver here. Um, this is 1-20-2019. Um, and then we're also running a uh, 2080 uh, RTX card um, for whatever my X1 software is not wanting to pull up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, launch into a training game real quick just to kind of show you before um, uh, kind of the frames we're getting in League. Um, we're going to go ahead and go Chemo, of course. Captain Chemo on duty. Make sure we got our, uh, you know, so much stuff right. Flash Ignite for that kill Teemo top lane. And uh, while that's going, we're just going to go ahead and get a uh, fresh download of the IQ. Uh, software and again this is on uh, Corsair's website this is uh, something that's you know this is one of their latest versions it's been out five days um, I don't know if it was something in this update that started causing this or, or what but um, I just want to kind of maybe help some people out I actually had to call in and uh, get some help on this we're not going to install that yet I just want to show you kind of like a before so, you know, we're pulling five, six, eight hundred, seven hundred frames, just jumping around a little bit, um, as it should. And, you know, that does go down as, um, you know, minions get in the game, whatnot. So, you know, as you can see, pretty smooth. You know, no real issue. Everything looks really clean, really sharp. So we're going to go ahead and um, install this IQ software that just went to our downloads file folder go ahead and get that going let's come up and then the audio is probably gonna um, click in and out here a few times um, while this installs as it you know kicks off the, uh, the microphone and the mice and the keyboard and then reconnects everything to figure out what is um, Corsair and what is not so And there was our audio cut, and now we're back. It looks like it is installed. Then we'll, uh, yep, there it goes. It's pulling up. Looks like it's copying some onboard profiles, and I think that's from the uh, K95, uh, some, because it has a little bio switch on the front for like three different profiles, uh, like a manual toggle switch. Um, so, here, here was the issue, and again, I had to call in a Corsair to get customer support for this. Um, by default, your polling rate on this mouse, uh, this is the Corsair Scimitar RGB Pro. Um, the polling rate, by default, is 1000 hertz per one millisecond, right? So we go back to League, and you know, while we're standing still, still decent frames, you know, three, four hundred, I mean, that's pretty stout in most games. But as soon as I start even moving my mouse, you see that? Just moving the mouse does it. Three frames a second. One frame. See that? Stop moving the mouse. Boom, goes back to 570. So it's not even like clicking and moving around. Like I can walk in a straight line and I'm doing fine, right? 450 plus, whatever, 400, just fine. But as soon as I start moving my mouse, look at this. You know. 26, 12, more I move it, 7, 1, right? So what they helped me out with um, was changing this polling rate. So 
different users it may vary i even asked them um you know what exactly does this polling rate do um the the technician i was helping me at the time kind of really couldn't explain it i personally didn't do any google research into it i was just happy that like you know my my computer was fixed i was able to play my games uh what worked for me uh was 250 hertz four milliseconds but you may need to you know drop it down one by one until you get where you're at uh or until it gets back to playability so we're going to go to 500 two milliseconds and it's going to disconnect the mouse reconnect the mouse you can click on it double check it's your settings go back to whatever game it is you're having issue again you know cool 380 plus now whatever start moving around the mouse okay we dropped some frames we're down to 170 much better right so what happens if we start moving around uh, there's a little bit of judder it is much playable now though right we're still pulling 100 plus frames but there's still a little bit of judder there so this was the setting that ultimately um, worked for me was the 250 hertz four milliseconds uh, I tried dropping it all the way down to the base one which was the 125 eight milliseconds I didn't notice an improvement so I just kind of left it where it was um, where I first found that really good number working for me and then so you know now we're here at 260 300 240 230 270 you know we're we're in a very good playable range and the big thing is clicking around in little circles you know it, it doesn't look draggy right it, it looks smooth everything looks good right so that's what we were looking for right we want that smooth playability and uh, by simply just adjusting this um polling rate right here is all that it is um so you know i just want to throw that out there for uh anyone that may be having issues with this um it was it was very frustrating for me i had to i mean i literally reinstalled my os i did all my drivers over and over and over did everything i could and couldn't figure out that it was this software until i did another fresh install and i said you know what i'm gonna install league first because this is the most noticeable game that it's happening in i'm going to install every program one by one and check league until i find the issue and it wasn't until I did the IQ and then I started noticing the problem, right? You know, I'd, I'd search Reddit, search YouTube, search Google, everywhere. Everybody was saying this, go in, delete some uh, .dll or ddl uh, files or whatever they were. Although that was a two-year-old post on Reddit, I went and looked. That folder doesn't even exist in the new IQ software. I really couldn't find much on this issue with the newer IQ software. Um, so again, I was just trying to put this out here for um, anyone who's having this problem. I hope this helps. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If not, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs down. You guys have a good day. Happy New Year.